Hello everybody, today we'll talk about ring main unit or RMU. We are here now in ABB factory to make fat test for the RMU. Okay, this is the RMU and this is its serial number here. Okay, this is a checklist that it's already passed or the tests here. This is the key which we are using to switch on or off the cells of the RMU. Okay, this RMU content consists of four cells. The first and second cell, this is for the incomer and the outgoing from the RMU. The first one, this is it's coming from the previous RMU or the previous switch gear, in this switch gear. And the second cell, this is to feed the next RMU or the next switch gear in another project or another building. The third one, the third cell, this is for transformer feeding because in our project we have two transformers. So we have two cells for outgoing. Okay, and the first one, this is the same also for the second transformer. The incoming is 13.8 kilovolt, as we are in Saudi Arabia, so the media voltage is 13.8 kilovolt. So uh, from the previous RMU, we are connecting here to the cable. The cable, this is bottom entry. All the cables here are bottom entry. Here, the first cable will go from inside, downside here. We have here inside three bushing, one for each phase. The same here also, three bushing and three bushing here for the outgoing cables, here and there. Here, this is diagram to show the cable is already energized or there is energizing for the incomer or not. Here we can see, as this is a straight line, that means the power is coming from here, from the incomer, so it will feed the outgoing, okay? So if we need to isolate this cable, so we shall make first earth, we shall isolate from here, we shall uh, make reset here for the spring, then, uh, then using the key to rotate to that twice, uh, anti-clockwise, then here also we need to anti-clockwise this button, okay, to rotate this button anti-clockwise, then at the end we will make everything. This is to protect any guy who will make maintenance here for this cell, as you can see here, see? This sign means this is already isolated, it's already off here also. You can see this is already earthed. So that means this cell is already isolated. But this cell as it's not connected here to the earth sign, that means it's not isolated. Okay, how to make it? We can bring here the key here. We have two sides, one hexagon side, and the other one is circular side, okay? To switch one, we will switch one from down to the top. And if we want to switch off from the top up to down. Now it's already on, so we want to switch off, we'll make from the top. So first we'll make press here on the red button, okay? Now it's already switch it off, okay? So we'll rotate now this one to be on the zero to make this sign on the earth side. This one is hexagon, so we'll use this hexagon side of the key. Sorry, this is circular, okay. So now it's already off, okay. And we'll retouch this one 
to make on the earth soil. This is the hexagon one. Oh, sorry. We'll make it on the south side. Now it's already earthed, so we can do proper, proper maintenance. We can remove here this bolt. These bolts will not be removed in case it's already energized. We are using this wrench. Open the door. can be opened as is already earthed. Okay. Here we have three bushing for each phase. Here the cable is incoming, bottom entry. It will be connected here to the three bushing. First first phase, second phase, third phase. On, and on each phase we will have here the current transformer. These are the cables which will be connected from the current transformer to the relay here. Okay, this is to give the signal and readings for all the phases. Now, we'll make another trial. And this is the earth bar. It's already available in all cells here. This is to make earthing for the panel. And at the end, this earth, will, this earth bar will be connected with separate earth bar then to earth a bit outside of the project. Here we, need, we will check uh, whether we can open this door after energizing or not. And also we have here, these are three lamps. This is indication lamps for each phase. This is for phase one, this is for phase two, this is for phase three. And we have here also these bins to get the reading in case we need to make reading from outside. Now, we'll try to energize and to check, can we open this door? for the bushing or not. So first, we'll make zero for the earthing. Then here, we will turn on, or here, see, after we cancel the earthing, I cannot open the door, as already the protection is already cancelled. Okay, if I want to energize again, uh, 
Okay, so we will repair you. So now it's already energized. Then here will charge the spring. Okay, now it's already energized. Okay. The outcomers for the two transformers. Here we open the cell. We can see here we have current transformer which will be installed on the, uh, the cable which is coming here from this bushing to the transformer. This is to use for the protection and check and to be connected here with the earth fault indicator. Uh, this, this cell, you can see it's already earthed. See the sign, that means it's, this cell is already uh, not energized. That means the transformer for the, uh, which is connected to this cell is not working. It's a medium voltage side. But here, this transformer which is connected to this cell, you can see it's already energized. So that means there is already voltage here coming out from the cell to the transformer. This panel, it's a type is V type. Why? Because the isolation breaker here is a vacuum type. Okay, we have here protection relay with with the breaker. But we have another type. It can be fuse type, and it will be type F. Okay, and all the bus bars here are already surrounded by SF6 gas. Okay, so if we have also type F, it's the same, but only we will replace the relay. And it's and the vacuum breaker with a fuse. Okay. Uh, we have here. This is the compartment for the gas of the FS SF6. And this is the panel from back side. Okay. Here also we have the earth bar to make earthing for the panel. And we can see here. The short circuit capacity for the si for the outgoing is 20 kilo ampere, while for the incomer is 16 kilo ampere, and here also 16 kilo ampere, and the rated current is, is 200 ampere for both incomers, while here for the outgoing is 600 ampere for this one and the other one. This is the pressure gauge for the gas SF6, okay, which is already energized inside the breakers, okay, and uh, from here we have here. This is to lift the panel to locate it at its place. We have, we can install here hooks or block chain to carry this this panel to at its final place. Okay, this is protection relay to isolate the breaker in case of any fault will happen. This is dependence on the current transformers which you already installed on each phase. As you know, for the medium voltage, we don't have neutral. We have only three phases. The neutral only will be uh, valid or will be existing only at the transformer side, low voltage side, where we have the star. Okay, And this outgoing will be connected to the transformer. And normally, most of the transformers it's a high tension side is delta connection. Okay, 
Thank you.